Hi guys, it's Nika. I hope you can't hear the dog because it's driving me crazy. So I hope that you are safe from it. And um, today we are building again, but this time we are building in Sulani. No more modern. Well, I will go back to my modern houses. That's that's a fact. But today we are building in Sulani, and I am building a house that I called Sulani Family Beach House or something like that. I don't remember. I'm really running out of ideas how to name my speed build, which is just great considering I did how many? Maybe like 10, 11, 12, something like that. I am already out of ideas. And this is like my first beach house. And I already didn't know how to name it. Like, this is just great. And, and I wanna keep doing this. So like, when I'm on my 50th speed build, how am I going to name it? <laughs> That's something for future me to worry about, right? Um, so yeah, a beach house in Sulani. I mentioned this in another video that I watched a few island living inspired speed builds recently and they were really good and they inspired me. They made me wanna build in Sulani as well. But I don't think my speed build will join the inspiring ones. I feel like we are back to my making real Sims builders cry days. Yeah, we are back there because I don't know, I don't really like those too much. I mean, in the end it turned out okay, but I really struggled when I was building it. First off, I couldn't decide on the shape at all. I kept going back and forth on it and I added the room, then I deleted the room and then there was a, there you will see there will be a hole upstairs and a bit later I'll come back and I will delete it and the bedrooms will be somewhere else on the, on the lot. Yeah, I really, really couldn't decide on the shape of the whole house and even looking at Pinterest and other Solani builds it didn't help. I just... This ain't good, my dudes. Why did I just call you my dudes? I mean, I stumbled on it, so like halfway through the word I realized, what the fuck, why am I calling you that? But this ain't good, my dudes. <laughs> this ain't good. Um, but yeah, I, I did something. Maybe you will like it and I'm just overly insecure. But yeah, it's not my favorite house and... Um, I have a confession to make. I mean, you will see it yourself at the end of the video. I put some shelves in this house and I forgot to put clutter on them. Like straight up forgot. There's so many empty shelves and I only realized when I went to edit the pictures. I didn't really see anything wrong with it when I was taking the pictures, but then I put the pictures to my Photoshop and I wanted to apply my favorite action and then I just, I looked at it and I was like, oh, yeah, something's missing. But I don't really feel like going back to the game and adding some clutter and, you know, editing the video more. So like, there's no clutter. You will have to edit yourself if you feel like it. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. I mean, look, I did this build late at night. I started on Sunday and I finished it yesterday evening, like around midnight. And yeah, I was really tired, but I just wanted to get the build done. Also, I wanted to get it done so that I would have something to record this morning because I didn't really... Yeah, I didn't play at all on Tuesday, I think. Maybe in the morning, but then there was an update in the evening and I didn't update my game in the evening because I was waiting for some of my mods to be updated and I didn't have anything to record on Wednesday morning and I didn't want to waste another morning, like I didn't want to waste today's morning, Thursday morning, so I was just like, no, I have to finish this build, I want to record tomorrow, I mean, I could have recorded uh, Nina's Let's Play under episode, oh, oh yeah, um, when I'm recording this, it's February 2nd, so the first episode of the Let's Play is coming in a few hours, it's 8am currently, and the episode is coming at 6 p.m. So I'm super excited, a little nervous, but hey, I'm sure it will be all right. Um, 
yeah i'm sure you'll be nice to me i'm sure you understand it's my first attempt at a let's play so it won't be perfect and i'll just learn it along the way all the tricks and tips and how to do this <laughs> um i don't know it looks very whenever and i feel like this is where most of the criticism of like youtuber being a youtuber isn't a real job and wow i feel like this is where most of the criticism comes from because People think it's easy. People think it's easy to just sit here for half an hour and just talk to yourself about the game. It's not easy. I mean, it kind of is, but you're trying to make it enjoyable. You're trying to make it exciting. And that's not always easy. It definitely is easier than some jobs, but it's not easy to, to play games and try to be funny while playing games. So yeah. <laughs> And it's funny that I keep hearing that when so many people in, in lockdown, they had to, like for example, teachers, they had to, they were basically live streaming their, um, their classes. And they're still, I, I feel like I still see so much criticism, like you can't play games for a living, it's not a real job. Well, it is to some, and it's actually pretty hard. I don't know. Or maybe it is hard for me now, because I'm just starting out, but, but yeah. It's not easy to do a silly, funny commentary to a game. Yeah, that's it. I, I think we're done with this topic. I'm not gonna rant about it. But yeah, first episode of my Let's Play today. I'm excited and yeah, maybe I will go record another right after I finish this video. Although maybe, because Yesterday I was waiting all day for my mods to be a bit well one mod because the more traits and cast mod it took a bit to get up updated. I can't speak, sorry. So I just I didn't play the game at all. And I spent a lot of time writing actually. I spent like three hours writing my vampire story, which I also already mentioned maybe like one or two times. And oh, I'm I'm so excited for this story. You don't understand. I I really think that I could finish the first draft today. Well, technically, it's not the first draft because I've been writing this story <laughs> since like 2014. But the story, the way it looks now, it has nothing to do with the original 2014 story at all. I just kind of, uh, it's like the roots are there, but it's completely different and I'm very excited about it and I love it. I I was looking for a specific lore information because I just couldn't remember how I wrote it in a previous chapter. So I went back and I went to the chapters I wrote in August or September or something like that. And I expected it to be a mess. I am fully expecting that when I finally go edit the first draft, it will be terrible. It, it will be, I will hate it and I will want to start completely over and rewrite the story as I rewrote it many times. But it actually, like, listen, <laughs> um, I'm not a bad writer. I mean, yeah, obviously it has some like mistakes that you would expect to find in the first draft. That, that's obvious. And yeah, I still have to figure out how the names for things and, and uh, minor side characters and everyone. But look, like the basics, like in my humble opinion, I don't think I'm a bad writer, okay? I was very impressed. And then I actually forgot I was writing and, and I spent like two hours just reading my story and, and yeah, and crying a little bit because I reread my favorite sad moment in this, this book, this story. Um, I'm not gonna tell you much about it, but it's basically two brothers saying goodbye and it's just... Man, I love, I love writing siblings and um, I, I, I love to suffer when I'm writing and I love it when my characters go through, you know, tragic things. That, by the way, they, they are both alive. It's not like one was dying and the other was like saying goodbye. No, they are both alive, just separated and um, uh, both in, in danger. Uh, both of them are in a different kind of danger, but they are both in very dangerous situation but like nowhere is safe in my story right now like shit's about to go down and I don't know how it will go down <laughs> to be honest I have not figured that out but shit's about to go down 
most of the like main gang, <laughs> most of the main characters have finally reunited and they are putting together what they know and yeah, it's time to blow this kingdom up. <laughs> No, 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 uh, they don't want to blow it up, they want to, they're not gonna destroy it, they don't want it destroyed, but it's like, there are issues, there are big issues, and they think they have the power to fix it, or, well, um, no, not really, a lot of them are actually like, just, you know, they, they are just doing the right thing, but they don't really have power, but, but like, you know, if everyone does the right thing, um, the kingdom will be saved, I think. I don't know. No, I really, really need to figure something out. But I'm just, I'm just writing. I'm just coming up with things as I go, and so something will come out of it. I usually, with the previous drafts and the previous versions of the story, I never got far because I would write five chapters if I was lucky, and. I would just give up because I didn't know where to go with the story and I kind of was too lazy to figure it out and I sort of had this like mindset of it has to be perfect, I have to get it out on the first try and it has to be perfect, which is not what I'm doing with this draft, with this, I'm calling it the final first draft. and. Throwing, throwing that mindset out of the window has done wonders, because yeah, I know there are probably plot holes, I know there are probably huge mistakes, and I know some parts of the story are probably cringe and terrible and not good writing, even though overall I think I am a good writer, but like sometimes you just write bullshit even though you're good at what you're doing. Yeah, like keep going. If you're struggling with your story, just keep going. Don't worry about it not being perfect, because you'll figure it out. I promise you will figure it out, because I had a few times in this story where I was like lost and I was like, okay, I don't know, I just... And then I kept going, because it's kind of like the characters, right? Like, it's their life and something happens and they just have to get through it somehow. So the same way when you are writing, you are just getting through it <laughs> somehow. I don't know, but unlike your characters, you have the power to go back and when you know better, you can change it, you can fix it, but you just have to get through the hard parts and I promise it will pay off and it will be worth it and I have turned into a motivational speaker, a motivational writer, speaker, no, wait, what? You, you know what I'm trying to say, but like, yeah, my one advice for writing is if you want to write, just write keep writing, don't look back, don't even edit what you've already read well. I mean, I, I do kind of do that, uh, like usually if I stop writing halfway to, through the chapter, the next day when I come back and I want to continue writing, I usually just start the chapter from the beginning and I edit it a little just to kind of remember where I was and, and stuff. But yeah, overall, don't don't look back, don't edit. Only only look back when you really really need a very specific specific information. I can't speak. I'm sorry again. Uh, yeah, yeah. My one my one advice is don't look back. Keep writing. Like your life depends. On, well, maybe not like your life depends on it. That's like that's probably unhealthy. <laughs> your life does not depend on it. I promise. But if you convince yourself it does, maybe it will work. But like that's no, don't don't take don't take that advice from me, cause um um yeah I have some experiences with overworking myself and with burning out. So maybe yeah don't don't act like your life depends on it, cause I did that with a few things in my life, and it backfired. <laughs> it was not worth it. Anyway, I'm now realizing I didn't tell you much about the build. I just told you that I don't like it and I'm not sure about the shape and all. Well, um, as you could probably already see, there's this big living room slash dining room slash um, kitchen area. There's this bathroom, there's one bathroom, then there's this... Yeah, there's next to the bed, not bedroom next to the bathroom there's a bedroom 
Um, there's a hallway which I didn't really know what to do with, so I just put some sofas there and some shoes. Even though the shoes, they are not really good for Solani, I think. Because there are these boots, but like, oh well, whatever. We can ignore it. Uh, yeah, there's that. There's, that. there's a little office which has one of the shelves. Well, two shelves actually. Like two objects that are classified as shelves in the game. Where I didn't put any clutter at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really forgot about that. And I was also tired, so yeah. And then there's then there's a children's bedroom, very pink and yellow and very cute, I think. <laughs> and then there's I didn't really know what to do with the final room. Yeah, I decided to turn it into this like game room, entertainment room, something like that. Maybe when they host parties, they they are there. I don't know. It was just yeah, I was really tired and I didn't know what to do with it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna slap some entertainment shit here, and and I did. And I feel like I maybe went a bit overboard with the karaoke. Like I feel like the other one would fit there better, but. Oh well, maybe they like singing so much that they got this super super fancy machine. Maybe that's like the only thing I know about the family. Because I have no idea who lives in this house. This time I didn't come up with any storylines or any characters. So maybe the one thing that I know about these characters, these sims, is that they like to sing. Um, I really don't know who lives here. If you have any funny ideas, you can tell me in the comments. I will like to read them. I would like to read them. I'm sorry, I, re I really can't be. You know, actually, uh, now that I now that I say it, I'm quite impressed with my English. I feel like I've gotten so much better at speaking English and like finding the right words in English. And I also realized that I do some things over and over and over again and I hate that I do it. Like, for example, I will be listening to something and then I will say, and all that. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that's another one. Um, anyway, okay, so, and yeah, yeah, I start all my, all my, if it's like a new paragraph, <laughs> I mean, if it was pretty and uh, it was a new paragraph, I started with, okay, so, but I feel like that's um, TikTok's fault. <laughs> like, I think I picked this up from TikTok and then, yeah, because everyone starts with, okay, so, well, maybe not just TikTok, but like internet in, in general. And I also do a lot of like, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> See, yeah, and that's, that's another one. <laughs> And sometimes I repeat words like I will say that's that's something something. Um, no, that's that's, and then I say something. But like the that will be there too, or I'll say but twice, or and twice, and twice. That's that's a pretty frequent one. I'm sorry, I hit my table again. I don't know. I keep moving my hands around when I'm talking to you. I need to stop. It's not like you can see them. And I don't think I will be doing webcam videos. At least not now. Maybe if this thing takes off. Um, takes off as in I will not need a normal job. <laughs> I would be able to do just YouTube videos. Which I don't think will ever happen. But if it does happen. Maybe I will do webcam videos then. But I don't think it will ever happen. I don't think you will ever see my face. Well, some of you have seen it. But that's just like a few of you. So yeah. Um, I don't know how I got here. I started rambling. Yo, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about how I think my English got better. Yeah. <laughs> I really think that and even like I thought I would make more grammar mistakes and there's I don't actually see that many of them so that's great <laughs> I'm proud of myself yeah you know you know what yeah I think I've said this before too but like sometimes we should probably be able to say that we are proud of ourselves and I'm really proud of myself myself but <laughs> no I'm really proud of myself and of what I'm doing on this channel and I'm really like looking forward to get better at it and yeah I want to keep improving and I want to keep improving my English and my speaking and, and yeah it makes me really really happy to work on this channel and I hope you're happy with my channel too and that you like coming back and and yeah <laughs> I love you guys. I keep saying that. I say that with every outro, but it's true. I do very much love you. And like, 
the online subs community. I, you guys mean so much to me. I'm getting sappy. Why am I getting sappy? When is this video even coming out? <laughs> it's after Valentine's Day, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I don't think I have a reason to get sappy right now, but yeah, I genuinely, I love you so much. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Oh my god, I keep going on these ramblings and, and spiraling into this random shit. I forgot. Uh, so I built half of this build on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. And the other half I built on Wednesday. And I got really random... Well, it wasn't really randomly sad. I, I got sad because my friend deactivated on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, I can still reach out to her on Instagram, but she, re she deactivated on Twitter. And I'm sad. Um, yeah, I got sad. And I... I wanted to cheer myself up and I got the pastel pop kit, which you've probably seen me use in this video and because I, I this was the first build I did after or this was the first thing I did in the game after installing pastel pop. So I looked at the objects obviously and I used some of them in this build and yeah I think it's a very cute kit and I feel like the next one I get will be little campers. I guess, yeah, I know, I've, I feel like I said in the past that I don't feel like buying it, but then a lot of people told me, no, you know what, this pack's actually worth it, or this kit is actually worth it, and it's really cute, and like, the objects there are, like, yeah, they're, they are good, so maybe that will be the next one. Then I also really like the, the max one, the core to the max one, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one too, and, and the loft, the industrial loft too. All the build kits, basically, except for maybe the Cartriard Oasis, because I don't see myself using it, even though it's really pretty. And the first one, the kitchen one, I don't really care about that one. I already have my trusted counters from Dream Home Decorator. <laughs> and I'll keep using them in every single build because I just love them so much. And like, yeah, Dream Home Decorator. Can you believe I hated that pack? Can you believe I never really wanted to get it and then when I finally got it I'm I'm just so obsessed and I use it in every single build yeah I mean I didn't want to get it because obviously when it released it was a mess and there was this whole discourse about whether it's even a good game pack where it shouldn't be classified as a stuff pack because like the career is basically just it's just building with a few extra fun steps and the, the, the game pack itself it doesn't really bring new gameplay because you could already play a interior designer before you can play it without the pack like this way it's just like it's an official career but if you really wanted to you could play it yourself without the, without the pack so yeah, I was kind of sick of this pack. I didn't think it was good. I, I hated it. I I thought it should have been a stuff pack. Uh, and she, uh, yeah, I was I was really upset with The Sims 4 at that time. When did it come out? It's like, was it like May 2021 or something? Yeah, I was really sick of The Sims 4 at that time. I didn't enjoy the game at all. Like at all. I didn't enjoy building. I did, well, maybe I did enjoy cast, but that's about it. Um, I didn't enjoy gameplay. Um, I almost abandoned my not so berry back then because I really just I, I couldn't stand that game. But I also yeah back then back then I was really in like Sims 3 mode. I played my Sims 3 Legacy so so much and I rarely play it now and I kind of miss it. I should play it again. I should really play it again. Although I will probably need to switch out some mods. The smooth patch. I feel like maybe I will have to get a new smooth patch because previously I launched my game from Origin and now I launch it from Steam. So and I feel like uh, they had different versions of the mod for depending on where you launch your game from. I don't know. I, I'll look into it. But anyway, I'm seeing now that I've been talking for way too long. So. I'm just gonna say goodbye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have anything nice to say, or if you wanna tell me who you think lives in this house, um, don't forget to subscribe for more and check out my other social media for more. <laughs> I don't know why I said for more two times, but yeah. Check me out um, everywhere on the internet. Well, not really, but yeah. Um, anyway, I love you guys, as I've already said in this video, and I mean it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. 
And yeah, I will see you all next time. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. I was actually feeling sick just before I started recording. Well, <laughs> I got better while I was recording. That's a good thing. Um, yeah. Oh, one last thing I have to say. Um, yeah, I just need to say the goodbye. <laughs> yeah, bye everyone. I'm just gonna shut up now. Bye.